All right, um, first of all, I did not defame Uncle Femi Falano, and I will never, ever, ever defame Uncle Femi Falano. Uncle Femi Falano, SAN, is somebody that I respect 100%, not because of his position as an as a SAN, but because of what he has used the position to do, representing the likes oh, no, guys, of no, me. Miss Martin, hold up. This clip I'm about to play for you guys right now is an apology video of Very Dark Man. Yesterday, files sued Very Dark Man that Very Dark Man have 24 hours to tender a public apology to him and the father, Femi Falano. And Very Dark Man have come out with an apology video. You can see the way. Let, let's just hear the apology video from Very Dark Man. You guys can hear everything Very Dark Man said. All right. Um, first of all, I did not defame Uncle Femi Falano, and I will never, ever, ever defame Uncle Femi Falano. Uncle Femi Falano, SAN, is somebody that I respect 100%, not because of his position as an as a SAN, but because of what he has used the position to do, representing the likes of me. The likes of me that speak against the ills of the society, abuse of power, abuse of influence and also the bad dealings of the government uncle falano have represented the likes of me and a lot of other activists i am not an activist however but he has represented a lot of people that i personally know now one other person that i represent that made me love him more is fella nikola kokuti fella nikola kokuti is a role model to me and i saw the way he spoke fearlessly and I emulated everything and I said, if I'll be on this earth, I will say it the way I feel it and I will say it straight up. So imagine Uncle Femi Falano defending somebody like Fela. That means I extended the love to Uncle Femi Falano. Imagine somebody like Fela, Jesus Christ. I mean, Fela came and said, Muhammad Bari is an animal. And Muhammad Bari was, an, was the head of state. And Uncle Femi Falano was his lawyer. How then would I defend him? I only reacted to the call Bobriski made, which he put allegations that it, he, Bobriski, was the one that alleged that Uncle Femi Falano and Faust connected Uncle Femi Falano and blah, 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 and 10 million naira. Do you understand? And what I said is, I choose not to believe that Uncle Femi Falano will be associated with that. And if I will be disappointed, I will be disappointed because of his position in the society and because I know what he represents. Now, I had an option of cutting that video at the part where he mentioned files. Do you understand? But I refuse to because I want an investigation on the matter. I want a thorough investigation on the matter. Now, let me even tell you guys what is funny. I have another one to post which i will post tomorrow that is from a totally different person again do you understand i want a deep investigation on this issue the efcc was named the controller general of prison was named and then uncle femi falano and files the bad guy do you understand a deep investigation we clear everything and if but Brisky is lying. He should face the law for using somebody as big as Uncle Femi Falano to do something like that. Now, again, imagine if that video did not come to me and somebody, an anonymous, just posted it online. That video would have just spread and people would have believed. I have even, I'm even 100% happy that what is happening now is happening now. Do you understand? So the thing will just break. The whole table will break and what happened will come out. So Uncle Femi Falano... I, Ose Martin Vincent, will never, ever, ever defame you. I will never, I will never, ever defame you. And I did not defame you. Thank you very much. I still love you. You are my daddy. Yes, you are my daddy. I love you 100%. Thank you very much. And what is even crazy is that on the top of my head, Uncle Femi Falano is an emergency contact. How did I even forget this? Yes, it's an emergency contact. Because to be very honest, me, I did talk oh, ah. And to be honest, if person bad, even if the person get position and they talk. So I don't really don't talk and before say the day where we say one kind big person will get influence will come home me. Now Uncle Femi Falano go represent me. So why would I defame Uncle Femi Falano? Please go back to my video, people. In respect to what files the bad guy posted, a letter that says I should retract my statement and I should apologize um, for defaming him. Um, first of all, before Faust posted that, Sean Kuti called me and he said, I'm very dark man. I just finished speaking with Faust, the bad guy. I want you to call him. I'll send you his number. I want you to call him so that you guys can talk. You know, and I said, Egbon, I don't want to talk to Faust. Then he said, um, no, 
you need to hear what he wants to say, you know. And then um, I sent Files a message. We got on a call. And then when we got on a call, then he said he wasn't happy. Then I said, how far? Then he started talking, you know. I said, ah. He said he was started talking about defamation, that he wasn't happy. Then I said, Files, I thought you were calling me to tell me your own side of the story so that I would know what's up, you know. But um, I don't understand what's going on now. So at a point in the conversation... I felt like Faust was recording me, you know, and then I said, Faust, I feel like you're recording me. I feel like you're trying to get evidence for me or trying to make me say something so that you can hold me by my wrist, you know. And then when I said it, he could not defend that, you know, then he went on saying things like, um, since you know me on social media or my family, have you ever heard anything negative about myself or my father? I said, I have never heard anything negative about your father, Femi Falano. However, you yourself have heard something negative about you. Then he said, what have you heard about me? Then I said, uh, my bro, it is for my own consumption and not for me to tell you, you know? So it was almost as if he was trying to pick my brain to know what I know and the length of things that I know. Well, anyways, that's by the way. Then um, the whole conversation ended up with me telling Faust that, thank God you are a lawyer, so you will not need to pay a lawyer to stand for you in court. But as for me, I did not defame you, and I'm standing that I did not defame you. So I will see you in court. That's number one. Number two, I did not read what Faust posted until later. And then when I read what Faust posted, I said, wait a minute. But Brisky is saying that the voice call was fake. And now Faust is confirming that Bob Brisky, they actually had a call. You understand? The only difference is that he's saying that Bob Brisky was the one that called him. Why Bob Brisky is saying that it's Faust that called him? Faust is saying Bob Brisky has seen for three million. Bob Brisky is saying that Faust said he should pay a lawyer with his father 10 million naira. Do you understand? Now, what I expect Faust to do, instead of addressing that letter to me, I expected you to address that letter to Bob Risky, requesting that he should clear your name off that voice call, and he should clear um, uh, Uncle Falano's name off that call, not you coming for me. Do you understand? I wasn't the one in the record. Do you understand? My reason for posting that is to expose corruption. The corruption that states that Bob Risky used his mouth to say that instead of taking him to prison, that they took him to a private lodge. That EFCC collected 15 million naira from him to drop an allegation and to drop a charges that said he laundered money. Do you understand? And inside all this thing is calling your name and you are sending a letter to me. I would expect you to send that letter to Bob Risky. Do you understand? To be very honest, I did not defame Faust and Uncle Femi Falano. Now, that's on the side. Now, as she stands like this, I am standing my ground to say, I still want to know what went down. Because going back to everything now, I saw there's a picture of Bobisky online where he carried luggage. You they go to prison, you carry luggage. Secondly, who gave Bobisky a phone to make call inside prison? Because they don't lock me up before. They remind me for Kuji prison now. I know say if you won't make call to your family, you go take you a process of telling one of the prison wardens to say you won't make call or bring you outside, they'll give you a phone. If you remember the number, fine and good. If you don't remember the number, turn you savvy. Then you cannot call the person you want to call. So how did Bob Risky get a phone to call Files and he's requesting that Files will give him three million? Again, another question is this which officer charged Bob Risky three million for VIP cell? We need to know. Do you understand? We need to know which officer charged Bob Risky 3 million. Because when they get all this amount for, say they say they'll give they'll collect 10 million, may they claim name from the crime where he commits by a presidential pardon. You understand? So my dear brother Faust, um, I did not defame you. And, and I will expect you to channel this energy to Bob Risky that called your name in that recording. And as for Bob Risky, um, like I said, I will post another recording from a totally different person entirely. Mind you, the first video I posted, I did not even post it complete. There are other side of the video. But I will post another one again today. I will post another one again today. Uh, yeah. I will post another one again today confirming that this guy, man, through through no go prison. So is it that prison is for us where we don't get people? It's prison for us, the poor masses. Hmm? It's prison for us, the people that don't have connection. Who, who is this Bob Risky's godfather that also influence 
the clearing of his uh, the clearing of his charges, his money laundry charges. So that is my question. Do you understand? It's pretty simple. I want to know what really happened, and I believe a lot of Nigerians want to know. That being said, some Nigerians, I see comments like, is Bobriski the problem of the country? No, Bobriski is not the problem of the country. However, the stories and the corruption surrounding Bobriski is part of the problem of Nigeria. Do you understand? Now, just imagine. Imagine if it was a whistleblower that said the thing about the money laundry. You understand? And tomorrow now, you can't release the person or you go put down for one lodge. That person where you put for lodge now, come orchestrate, come plan the buying of the person where do whistleblowing. Do you understand? They cannot investigate the person that is inside prison again now. They could say, ah, this one, they prison. That means another person do They don't know, say the person, they outside. This thing is very deep, but y'all don't understand. It's not about Bob Risky, it's about the corruption. Tomorrow now, you go carry your habelu. Do you understand? So what if your habelu pays and drop his charges and we think he's in prison? So how do you imprison politicians when they do wrong if the normal average people are paying to remove charges and are paying to stay in an apartment instead of a prison? Nigerians want to get to that brain. Anyways, you all better don't play, else you're going to learn. And you all oh, well, guys, no, this more thing. You guys heard everything very dark man said. Very dark man said he did not defame Femi Farah now. And at the same time, he said Bob Risky will learn because if you hear from one Faz, the, the write up of Faz when he sued Very Dark Man, Faz said Bob Risky was the one who called him. And Bob Risky said he did not call anybody. Now, Bob Risky did in a very big mess because Bob Risky go explain, Saya, it's crazy. It's crazy that Bob Risky did not go to prison. Be like say the police prison that for me and you you get some people waiting when they enter there what are your thoughts let me know via the comment position you've heard the apology video from very dark money don't forget to hit that subscribe button please subscribe to make sure you get notified whenever i draw videos like this i remain your favorite big vicky i'm out